to say before we start this? Uh, well, who is it? It's uh, Hal Rundeck versus um, Scott Mance. That would be the So, uh, let's just do a little early prediction before. Who's going to win? Yeah. I'm going Mance. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to go Rundeck just to go the opposite, just because it, um, but Mance has, a uh, Mance has actually won a game. Rundeck is like 0 for 2, hasn't won a game yet, so, and then the other one is Jason, it's the, the main guy, he's one of the, uh, Jonathan, Javi, Voico. Jonathan Voico and Stacy Howard. Um, uh, well, the one guy is, is uh, part of Six Degrees. He's Perry's partner. Oh. And, and then Stacy Howard is uh, part of Team Six Degrees with uh, Brian Chandler. I'm going to go, I'm going to go Voico. Okay. Voico. There you go. Voico. All right. Let's okay, begin this. Let's do this. Here we go. They're starting to do new factions. You got damn the nerds watch the lion's stand the four horsemen. So I like the four horsemen. Yeah, I like the four horsemen too. Ooh, I love that shirt. <laughs> it's pretty cool. I saw that one. I saw Peter Quilter once. That was really one. Welcome back to the movie trivia showdown. We got a doubleheader today as Scott Vance and Howard they go head to head, and we have another match with joining me today. I thought this was my lunch break, but I got sat down at this table and no waitress came, so I'm here. Christian, I'm going to stick around. I'm very happy you are here because... But you only need one of them. That's the thing. Yeah. Right, right in front of us. But what I will also say is that you've become a competitor. And yeah. a good competitor. You and your teammate, Rachel Cushing, having a great match. Some may say one of the best team matches of all time with against team action. Right, my heart, heart doctor didn't agree. He said it was no. bad for me, but the match is great. I love it. Those team action boys, they got some attitude, but they got some skills. And Rachel and I are happy to move forward and on, on, go on our path towards yeah. the Patriots. Well, other paths are going to be made today. As we have some, not newcomers, we have some old pros in Mance and Rudnick, who both haven't had the greatest starts. Mance, of course, started out beating the former champion, John Roki. He's 1-2. and two. Hal Rudnick has not won a singles match yet. But their big personality, your quick before you get to our other part, who you got now? Who do I got? Who do you I got? like that aspect. Who you got? Who you got? <laughs> uh, in, in, in that big main event match, Christian, yeah. you trying to put me on the spot? Put me on the spot. I'll tell you who I've got. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Scott yes. Vance, yeah. Scott <laughs> Vance, if you can stay focused. Billy Reese State. <laughs> but we will see 
what's going to happen. Now, we get to our undercard match, which it is going to be, once again, between two competitors who have made their names in the team division. You've got Jonathan, the Vulture Royko, who really came out of the gate hard with tough beat and looked like he was just going to be the next best thing, and he's had a couple stumbles since then. Right, sometimes he came out from the shadows. He's a he's a behind the scenes person, and he came out of that spotlight, and it was it was a I missed all these uh, matches, took, took, I guess. And he stumbled, and, and you have I, don't, I don't even remember the Perry team matches. Not true. This is not true. Fan. Not. This right. moment. Can he do that? The Perry and, and other one Perry matches the undercard to Roka and Riley. There was a couple months where Not true. Fan. And now Stacy Howard. The question, there's a lot of questions around Stacey Howard. The first being whether or not she is also going to be able to succeed in, in singles. We've seen her, she do pretty well in teams with Six Degrees. And the question is, what the hell is going on with Six Degrees right now? Miss Movies or Brianne Chandler, I don't know who's who now. That, that almost seems like two people. Like Eminem and Marshall Matt. Right. It, it's like, what? I love the new attitude, but sometimes you have to question it. Uh, where's it going? She's got Jay Washington in her corner. I love Jay, but Jay brings a certain edge yep. that was different to what the Six Degrees is before. So is Stacy on the same page as Miss Movies? Well, as we saw in the beginning of this match, it looked the Tough Beats has extended an invite to Stacy Howard to join their team to leave Six Degrees and kind of stay on the path of the light. And Stacy Howard is going to make a decision. We're going to find out exactly what she's going to do. But we need to find out what these two competitors are going to do right now. Oh, he does. And <laughs> Hey guys, I'm so excited to compete today. I mean, you know, I've done team matches. I've been with my partner, Craig, my co-host, yeah. Sam, Miss Movies for so long. But the free-for-all, it got me really excited to be in a singles match. I'm excited to prove myself today on my own. When I first entered the showdown, I came in with my partner, Perry, in Tough Beats. And I love that team. I did everything for that team. And Perry came out. She showed a lot of courage. She took on Brienne. Didn't go the way she wanted to go. And I'm here to make things right. You want to see? We're co but we're not the same person. <laughs> okay. We all have different personalities. We want to do different things. So just because she's going to go one way doesn't mean I'm going to go the same way. You know, I'm my own person. I'm my own competitor. It is kind of a debut, although I did make a debut in the free for all. I think I had a pretty good run there. Yeah, you never get a free for all. And I'm pretty happy about this, uh, this match coming up. I think I'm going to do pretty good. My friend and Brianne, I would love to go along with her, but Tough Beats, they're awesome people. They're so sweet. I was so honored to be asked to join them, so I don't know. I have a tough decision after the match today. We'll see. Stacy, like I said before, I have a lot of respect for you and Six Degrees, but you guys smear Tough Beats, you guys smear Perry, and now I'm coming for you. Just cheeks are really Jonathan, red. good luck the match today. I'm really honored to go against you. I think you're going to do well as well as me, so I don't know what's going to happen, but it's going to be a great time anyway. Let's get ready. A lot of nice uh, words between the two of them. Jonathan and Steve are going a name for themselves in the singles league. Yeah. Making make an answer, though, is very important. Schmodown, walks of life, uh, this is a key moment for both these uh, two fights. I'm ready to go. Kenny, you ready to go? Uh, I'm, I'm going to say yes I'm because the show has to go. You want to detail the tape or should we just skip? I have I have a little bit of detail the tape. I Let's see what their strengths are. Before the game in an alley out by a dumpster behind Collider Studios. Get right. It wasn't all at all. <laughs> he can uh, <laughs> his skills are comic book movies, directors, and funky dances. He demonstrated funky one point dances. Burbank PD told us to stop. Stacey Howard, uh, her strengths are animated movies, musicals, Yeah, they beat the, uh, you know, Six Degrees to beat the Team Wangers what, uh, because Wangers got uh, a really musical category back in the Stacey last Howard. season. Mm -hmm. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for Ooh, the movie trivia showdown. I'm ready. Introducing first, representing Six Degrees. Making our familiar. singles debut, Sassy Stacy Howard. Oh, it's a kick. It. It's a no. It's Kill Bill. <laughs> I don't think it's Kill Bill. Yeah, it's not. It doesn't sound right. Oh, wait. Well, look, she is being sassy. Yeah, right? like sassy. Sassy. harbinger of things to come, Christian. I don't, I don't know. know. We don't know what's happening. She you knows the eye patch. Yeah, chick. The eye patch chick. She yeah. whistles a tan, but it ain't this song. I don't think that's who she. Well, maybe she. Is. I don't know. It's what their partner killed. Uh, Idris. Representing 
Oh, her name yet. She had the fourth volume too. <laughs> I forgot, I've only seen the movie once. The Vulture Jay's Bond. Smooth it up and join. Shades of Mark Riley here from the spectacular likeness. Look at that. He's carrying his own drink. Yeah, he is. Sipping it. He's taking his time. Take it, that's true. I know you like James Bond, though. I was asked to leave Del Taco, but. Let's do it, Chris. Let's do it. All right. All right. Round number one. It works like this. The competitors will have eight questions. We'll see how bad we do. <laughs> really bad. I'm going to guess. If it's anything like the one on Tuesday. We played in the car. <laughs> yeah. I will them. That was our trial round. You have three JTE repeat the questions throughout the match. You can only use it three times, so use them wisely. Also, the challenge rule. Remember, you don't like a way a particular call went, you can challenge it. If it gets overturned, you keep your challenge. If it doesn't, you lose the challenge. All right, John the Boyko, you ready to go? Do be kind. All right, Stacy, are you ready Dude, to go? Kingsman. <laughs> then let's get ready, ready to, to smoke down. Down. Right, Here we go. Round number one. All right, in the category of action, adventure, State of the Union is the sequel title to which movie? Have you ever a sequel title? I, I've, ever, I've ever had a sequel title. It depends on if you woke up yeah. the next day after hanging True. There's a sequel to my life. It's called Still Losing. Five, four. Hold three, it up, son. Two, one. All right, John Boyko. Triple X. Nothing. Yeah. Stacy. That's correct. Triple X. I did that. <laughs> Question two, category is animated. Dakota Fanning voices a girl who discovers a doorway to a world that closely resembles her own in what 2009 animated fantasy? What? You don't like animated things, do you? I also don't like to have any kind of fantasies. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, and Stacy. No clue. That's correct for one point. <laughs> Oh, Coraline, man, that was a Cassie question. Never heard of it. That's one of the stop motion. Right, here we go. Question like, three. Right before yeah, you hate, you hate those movies. Yeah, I don't like what it. character did Raul Julia play in the Addams Family movies? Don't Never seen the Addams Family movies. Family movies. <laughs> uh, the other one. The other one. The other one. I won't say it because I don't want to spoil it. I have a habit of doing it. Five, you do. Four, three, Two, one, pens down, and John. <laughs> don't think that was it. Right, Stacy. Um, I forgot his first name. Mr. Adams. Incorrectly, yeah. with Gomez. Gomez Adams. Gomez. 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 She was being. She was I'm trying to get some comedy answers. Yeah. One to one. Uh, next or two to two, I guess. No, one one away, Sean yeah. Penn earned an Oscar nomination for playing a mentally challenged father trying to raise his daughter in what 2001 film? I'm not a big fan of Sean Penn. I'll just put one in some random movie down. Four. Three. I'm not writing anything down. Pens down and Stacy. Uh, I am Sam. That's correct. Oh. That's what you write? I wrote just milk. Three more. Stacy, you did that? Yeah, I think so. All right, next category. Or milk money or something like that. Family films. Danny Glover manages a major league baseball team that includes pitcher Tony Danza. In what 1994 flick? I feel like you and Tony Danza have never met one. No, but my roommate once broke his face while playing softball. True story. I was there. I don't even know if this is a movie. Three, two, one. Pens down and John. Angels the Alpha? That's correct. Woo! I love sports movies. I said minor league. I don't think that's a movie. That's right. Fantasy sci fi. In the Marvel hit. Ant-Man, who, who played the role of Pope? The oh, fuck. Oh, I got it. John Broca is not excited about that. No, absolutely. No. He's uh, oh, waiting for us to work on with any programs. Five, four, three, two, one, and Stacey. Uh, Woo! I put the wrong person. <laughs> I put Liv Tyler. <laughs> yes. All right, next question. I almost put Lily something. <laughs> Question number seven in the category of horror slash thriller. Well, I'm not getting this one. Which actress stepped into the famous role of Clarice Starling for the film Pound? I've never seen him. Have you ever eaten a human? No. I got one point. You're not going to get it. Five, 
four. I forgot. Three, no. two, one. Get the second one. I think it's only one point. No. So none. Uh, and uh, get one. Call you the discount version of her Julianne Moore. That is correct. Six, I see it right here. Stacy Howard yep. adding some insults to herself. <laughs> I mean, I like that style. I like that style. Final question category is directors. Name a film directed by Ivan Reitman that featured Arnold Schwarzenegger. Do it. No. Do it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right. Name the movie I'm thinking about. Two. One. Uh, all right, Jonathan, what do you got? Total Gas Commando. That's incorrect. Stacey. I don't know if I know this. We need a kindergarten cop. <laughs> give it to you. That's correct. Twins, no way. Kindergarten cop or Ken Napsok's favorite Dave. I like that. I like. I like that. I was thinking. All right, so that's the end of round one. Stacey Howard off to a big league now. Uh, totally. Oh, now. Two, three. As we get to round number two. Like the next round number two works like mm. this. The uh, well, I'm not sure. Destiny. All right, score three one. This time around, we just will just guess. Whoever gets the first guess right gets the points, I guess. Okay. First category you spin on. What if it goes to multiple choice? Then one of us will just guess what we want. First, make it fun that way. Score two points easy unless you go down to one point for multiple choice. Come on, Star Wars. Ten steal from your opponent in this round. All right, so Stacy, you are up first. Would you like to go first or second? Uh, I'll go first. All right, please give it a good spin. There you go. Nice spin. 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 Nice <laughs> Why not? Kind of an interesting cavalier attitude. To yeah, <laughs> that's, 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 I don't even think. She's kind of whooping. Okay, here we go. It's three to seven. Basically, because of your dry cold shoes. Four questions for you, Stacy. First one. So cool. Will of death. Action adventure. In Armageddon, one of the all-time classics of oh, humanity. What is Ben Affleck's character's first name? AJ. Wow. Oh wow! Wow! wow. Props. <laughs> Or Question unprops, two, however you want to look at that. <laughs> what it's is Cindy's either. occupation? Oh, uh, uh fuck. What's um, his occupation? Hairdresser. I don't know. I've never seen Commando. Stewardess. Oh, no. No? Wait, you said stewardess. Is that what you said? Yeah, that's what I said. No, okay. We're, we're going to accept that. Wait, 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 wait. wait. That's it? Flight attendant. Uh, stewardess. <laughs> yeah. Stewardess. <laughs> <laughs> never seen Commando? <laughs> Very guilty pleasure Arnold movie. The sequel of Commando became Die Hard. It's the original take to the movie. That was a, that was a holy shit Josh McGoogan movie. Question three. In Furious 7, what is the name of the, of the tech that Dom, Brian, and crew must acquire for tech from getting into the hands of the mercenaries? Oh. Uh, God's Eye. That yep. is correct. That is impressive stuff. I want to think it was Sky. I'm doing awesome. In this round, Stacey, in The Losers, the team is portrayed by one of their own. Who played the betrayer? I always get, seen that movie. I always get this movie so confused with well. Eighteen. Yeah. I don't know. It's a good movie. Because it came out at the same no, time. I don't know. Uh, Seth Green. Um, Julie Roberts. I don't know. Doesn't go for multiple choice again. That's incorrect. John? I have no idea. So you're not going to guess either? No. Nope. All right. So no one's guessing. No one's what guessing. Uh, what the answer looking for was Idris Elba. Very oh, yeah. <laughs> He was in that? <laughs> what? I just remember. Uh, one I don't remember any of that movie. movie. Like I say, it came out the same year the 18 came out. And I liked 18 back then. It's not a movie I want to probably ever rewatch, to be honest with you. Stands up, gets some leverage on it. That's a good spin. That's a good spin. But there's I. Yes, he does. And it's going to land on Julie. Respin. Doesn't like the look in her eyes. Good spin. I just don't know you. Good spin, Christian. I don't really like her either. Let's see. Oh. Comic book? Oh! It's destiny. I should have been nicer to her. It looks like she comes right back on. Sometimes fate leads you in a direction you cannot turn away. All right, John, here we go. Two Julia Roberts movies. In Ocean's Eleven, George Clooney is trying to win Julia back from which actor? Brad Pitt. 
Isn't it? Yeah, Brad Pitt. Oh. I know I have multiple choice. I know him. Is it A, Andy Garcia, B, Javier <laughs> Bardem, C, Alec Baldwin, D, Antonio Banderas? He knew it was Alec Baldwin. correct for one point. Mm -hmm. All right, right. so Jonathan, 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 Jonathan did use multiple choices. Is it Alec Baldwin? Did not got right. Yeah, I mean, I well, not necessarily. Oh, no, true. There are choices. Sure I don't pay attention to the rules, Christian. I don't think anybody. You can rewind if you want. All right, here we go. Okay. Two more. 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 All right, here we go. What was the name of Julia's character in Steel Magnolias? Steel Magnolias? Steel. Is it A, Shelby, B, Stacy, C, Sarah, D, Maribel? Mary Bell. A. A, Shelby is correct. correct. All right, so John, <laughs> he's, he's, fighting it he's fighting it back. And for your final question, Jonathan, Rocking which it. actor who has also appeared in a Batman plays Julia's motorcyclist boyfriend in Aaron Brockovich. Okay. <laughs> Played sample, just tread water and multiple choice, please. A, Aaron Eckhart. B, Tommy Lee Jones. C, Matthew Modine. I'll say Aaron Eckhart. Yeah. Can I hear uh, the questions one time? The question? Name that, yeah, the names. Uh, the, the multiple choice? Yeah, the multiple, multiple choice. choice. A, Aaron Eckhart. B, Tommy Lee Jones. C, Matthew Modine. D, Michael Keaton. Uh, I'll go in. Aaron Eckhart is correct. Right. So Jonathan Boyko okay. uses it very well, but he's still he's still down six right. points. He needs to have Four? a very strong to two. two. Okay. You can come right. back in round three. He could win oh, this yeah. time by TKO. Okay. All right, round number three. You get lucky. <laughs> <Here we go. laughs> it's like pick so. We're going to have three numbers from one to 25. The first one's going to be worth two points. The second one, three. And the third one will be worth five points. Points. All right, Stacy, you are in the lead. Please pick three numbers from one to twenty-five. Six, thirteen, and eight. Six, thirteen, and eight. John. Seven, fourteen, twenty-one. All right, so Jonathan will be up first as he tries to avoid the technical knockout. Howard, first question. That'd be my number. Seven, fourteen, and twenty-one. Seven. Which was the category of classics? Ooh, classics. Well, you're not getting this one. Either. All right. What was the first feature film originally presented with sound? What? That's correct. What? Oh, damn. 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 I'll say Raphael. Is correct? That is the spider. All right, so spider. this comes down to this. Jonathan has that. to hit his five Never seen pointer, it. or Stacey Howard will win. I probably really like it. A a Scorsese movie. You chose category 21, which is Angelina Jolie movie. Oh, oh, my favorite. All right, here you go. Your five pointer. What was the Jolie film that had the tagline? Born into wealth, groomed by the elite, trained for combat. Tim Raider? Tim Raider? That's correct. That's John Michael. Right. Right. Now, that's But uh, Stacey Howard, he avoids the TKO. Stacey Howard only needs to hit one of the three <laughs> questions here in order to win the game. I'm just going to drink. <laughs> to be fair, that's what I would do to Jonathan. Uh, Stacey, you picked 6, 13, and 18. Uh, number six corresponds to the category of 80s movies. Woo! Chances of you being born she has to get one question right. She wins it. Ask you anyways. Nope. All right. Um, Two-point question. Alex Owens is a steel worker by day and a burlesque dancer by night in this 80s drama. Boogie Nights. Dirty okay. Dancing. And your What'd you say? winner, ladies and gentlemen, Sassy Stacy. Howard, he's, I know, look at how nice it is. Well, it looks like they're going to join up with him after all. Look at this, upbeat. She's drawing. 
Uh oh. She's going to heal. No. Oh! Oh, the fuck! She did! Oh my god, you knew that! Jay has. I don't know what he's doing. He's a mastermind or he's. He's slow clapping. That's how I do it. A top fought victory as him and, and Perry kind of left there. Now this oh, game between well. the top beats. All right, final three, score. Perry, Nine I, I, to two. Woo! This is golf. Lowest score wins. I'm worn it out now. Cougar like guessing, but sometimes that guessing is just knowledge buried deep within your soul. All right, it seems like poor Emma Five has Those are my questions. thrown into the situation. Next round's going to be more questions. another one on her hands right now. What's up, Movie Trivia Showdown fans? Emma Fight here with Stacy Howard and friends. I, Stacy, great match. I was gonna start with congratulating you, but I'm I'll let you finish later. What is happening? <laughs> Stacy has become like her partner, Brianne, and is winner. And what you are looking at here is the future of the Showdown. The Mark Rileys, the John, the John Rokas, the Dan Merles, the Mark Ellis's. Those are things of the past. This is the future, and the future has a new personality, if you would. A new edge, if you would. Right. I mean, listen, I'm all about women taking over the showdown, you know, but I, I just... I, 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 but you keep stuttering, so you're not really sure about these two women. <laughs> 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 sure, I know these two women. He's a good manager. You don't need to know, you need to know that they're winners, and they do what they do. Now, let's add the list of singles. Perry Nimrod. Dismissed. And now, Jonathan Voiko. Out of here. That's all you need to know. Uh, okay. Uh, she did well, do pretty good. Yep. The rest of your team is walking away. Um, Stacy, congratulations on your win today. It was a, it was a very well thought match. Thank you. Okay. I expected uh, it. I'd like to hear from you. Uh, what, what is it with this, this turn on Jonathan Boyko? He came over, he congratulated you. you Turkey. Know, you were, they were really sure. Nice to you. The turkey I show. I don't quite understand what happened. Today, I mean, I'm a competitor to be, to be Delta. You know, it's going to be a highlight of anybody who ever watches this. <laughs> I was eating turkey in the middle of the show. Well, it's like we're seeing a uh, whole new sassy Stacey Howard. Uh, emphasis on the sassy. So, Stacey, who's next then? I don't know. We'll see who uh, pisses me off today. I mean, you <laughs> and your partner, Brianne, have both been victorious at this point over both members of Tough Beats. Is that a match we might see in the future? I mean, I think they fear it, but, um, <laughs> no. I guess we'll just have to wait and see what the future holds. Uh, congratulations again, Stacy, and we will be right back with Jonathan Boyko. And we are what a villain. Jonathan Boyko, Jonathan Tuffman. She's a Bond villain. She has an iPad for it all. Yeah, I had, a, I had a slow start. I thought maybe I'd have a Makuga-esque uh, build-up to the end. And I had a <laughs> like, treading water in two. I thought round three. He knows his stuff, and, though, too. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, way to stay alive there in round two. You spun that Julia Roberts category twice. It was just fated to be. And you really <laughs> did well with the multiple choice option. Sometimes you got to tread water. I know some. a lot of people are like, oh, you didn't sweep. You didn't get the two points. And sometimes you just got to do what you got to do and use that option as a multiple choice. And you did. And that, that kept you alive through round two and into round three. You managed to avoid the TKO with that Tomb Raider clutch answer coming out of nowhere. So... Congratulations on that. Again, I, I really think that you should leave this match with your head held high today. You, you fought well out there, Boyko. Thank you. But what I'm curious about is Stacy. Uh, you guys were very kind to her. Tough Beats extended the laurel to her to actually have her join you. It looked like she was going to. What's I, I honestly don't know what's happening in this league anymore, so can you just like walk me through this? You know it's what? crazy, we, Mom. We tried to uh, extend our hand in friendship. We were voted... Face team of the year. We wanted to keep that that that, that going. Mm -hmm. We wanted to show, you know, our fans and of losing. <laughs> we're the heroes. And uh, you know what? The thing is, she wants to go down the path that movies went down, and that's too bad. It's a dark path. But Good. if they want to both go down, Good. maybe they should take us both down in the team uh, challenge. Are you officially challenging? I six am challenging to a six match? degrees, and you know what? To to semi quote Mark Riley. You know what? Heroes don't always win, but they keep coming back to fight. And that's what we're going to do. 
That's what it's all about. There so, goes my hero. Uh, we certainly hope to see good things from you uh, in the future, both in singles and in your now impending team match against Six Degrees. Best of luck to you, Jonathan. And now back to you, Christian and Ken. I am. Well, look at that tough beat. Uh, <laughs> Bye. What happened in this case? The Aaron challenged uh, Six Degrees. To She'll be match. back. That match will happen, obviously, between You're right. Six Degrees <laughs> and Tough Beat. Now, both Brianne and Stacey have victories. <laughs> but he's sure was up there. Yeah, it's Brett Sheridan from the snow oh, show. Just noticed that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that's since the beginning, man. You know how many episodes have been there? Especially on Movie Talk. It's on Movie Talk, too. But she'll retain that and get she knows movies. I, I tease her being being younger, but she movies are her life, and that kind of came through today. I'll be completely honest. She knew things that, A, that I didn't know when I was looking, B, I didn't think that she would know because, like you just said, bro, I can't imagine that she, she maybe she didn't watch this, and boy, was I wrong. Her, the, the, the amount of knowledge that she has, she's a serious contender in this league. Absolutely. you got to feel for Jonathan. He tried to step out, and he had a good show. He should hold his head up high after today. Well, you look at now, what's next for both Stacey Howard and Brianne Chandler? Just look at those Let's get to the main different, event. different people than we've seen in the past. The the change in these these personas and these characters and their approaches, they've got more success and got maybe more confident. Maybe they started to believe something about themselves that, that, that uh, was laying dormant. And you got Jay Washington, the, the urban gladiator man. I mean, this guy, he knows... Uh, movies. He knows the the business uh, behind it, the psyche behind these these stories here. And he knows winners. That, apparently. And he knows winners. That that is an interesting combination. All right. Well, that's this match. And now it's time Don't for get our fancy updates with John Scott Mance and Hal Rudnick. Just jumping right into it. Or not? What's up, movie oh, there's Cody Hall. Cody Hall here. <laughs> What's up, movies, trivia, slowdown fans? Cody Hall has disappeared. I do not know where to send him. I just started learning magic. It's going pretty well. <laughs> Stacy Howard put the world on blast, on notice, on whatever cool kids say that are millennials on Instagram. She is all six of the six degrees. She's all six of the six degrees. With great intros. And not only that, she's scoring points. Pick her up. Trade for her. Find a way to get Stacey Howard on her team. Not only will she play more, but she will score more points. She will guess just like me, and she will come out with great intros. She is a performer, and she is knowledgeable. On the other hand, you have Jonathan Boyko. Will he play again? We don't know. He started out hot. You may want to drop him. You may want to trade him. He didn't know Andy Garcia. A lot of people out there may have been yelling into their computers, Hey, dummy, it's Andy Garcia. Yeah, so see Jonathan obviously. Boyko, it's possible. But if I were in your fantasy, I would drop him. For all your other fantasy needs, go to Frank Janis. Go to Schmozno.com. Go to the Facebook page. They give you all of their details. All right, I'm Josh McCougar. That's your fantasy update. We'll see you next time. Oh, oh, Am I in another dimension? <laughs> Am I in another Dark dimension? It's okay. Kind of scary. You're in the speed force. Oh, okay. <laughs> You're right. Schmodown, the premier movie trivia league in the known universe. I'm how Rudnick. This is crazy far. Inner geekdom. You know what? Not my fine shower. I'll own it. Last year, I competed in the showdown oh, against right Sam Levine. Sam had his foot on my neck. I was dead to rights. And then I staged a little bit of a comeback. I made it interesting. I made it worth watching. Didn't win. Next man, that's the soul. This is the first time since that last match with Roca. But, you know, oh. all this neat stuff. I love Jason. Oh. Oh. <laughs> the time has come. Advanced man to once again fly solo. This one is epic. It's the epic match between father and son. Yeah. Advance and but not really. Hal Rudnick. Today, a son tries to step out of the shadows <laughs> passed by his father. Darth Vader versus Luke Skywalker. Star Lord versus. Kurt Russell. Ego, I know the guy's name. <laughs> I've got the energy. You know I've got the energy. But now the time has come. The time has come for singles dance to once again retain his rightful place here in the Schmodown. We cannot wait to collide. The icon versus the dance man. It had to happen. And here it is. 
the first and maybe the only time this will ever happen, right here in the Shmodeon. Vance versus Rugby. Vance Man versus the Icon. It's going to be Iconic. Yeah! <laughs> freaking, freaking Vance. They made a joke. I remember movie fights one time it was Scott Vance and uh, Man Howard are like father and son, father and son. <laughs> Sharon was shirtless for uh, a year. Since the like the first initial three or four matches we had since we brought to Collider against Sam Levine, Scott Mance took a, almost a full year off after he lost to Roca, and we haven't seen him since. And they played in team, he played in teams. Rudnick played in the free for all, and they didn't have a great showing in the inner kingdom. So he scored zero points. I, I quite frankly, Chris, you don't know what to expect from these two guys. They have a long story history just as friends. They've worked together a lot. The joke of Mance being Rudnick's father, even though the Rudnick is actually 12 years older than him, is actually one of the more interesting things <laughs> we don't really uh, know about this. Uh, so this committee, they both know movies. They do. They both have strengths and weaknesses. And you could say that about any competitors, but I can't pinpoint it on a map. I, I'm, I'm excited to see what actually happens. Well, anybody tuning in to try to see Mance and Roke in this match, you're not going to see that. You're gonna, these guys love each other. They're really good. Uh, they're good friends. But it's a ma But they're both very competitive. They're both very high energy, and they're both going. They want like how Rudnick is a dude. He is. I, I talked. I remember them. He and Nick Mundy lost in 2015. Oh yeah. I don't think Hal spoke to Nick for like two months. Yeah, it was. You can see. <laughs> yeah, that. it was a blowout. Rudnick came out yeah. in that moment. You can see it in his eyes. You can see it in his arm hair. It was definitely <laughs> very clearly. Well, there. you can also see it in Mance. Mance is another guy. Look at his face when he he was one second away from being the team champion. Right. One second away, and he just missed it. So Mance is now starting to get the singles goal, but he needs to battle back. He's one and two, and we're going to find out what happens today. Ken, do you happen to have uh, strengths here? I, the tape? I do. Looking at Scott Mance here, we know some of his strengths already. Release dates. Look at release dates. Where? He has dreams about release dates. He definitely knows that. He is also a, a, an expert in Oscar movies and knowing all Screeching. of Ryan Gosling's computer passwords. Ryan <laughs> uh, Gosling has strengths in classics, superhero movies. He kind of works in that field covering it for screen junkies. And getting his mom to hang out with Ice Cube is also one of the biggest accomplishments. <laughs> yeah, that's a good video. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, all right, so here we go. And also, how about the five-time WCW uh, champion? Oh, here comes Booker T. Who has his oh, gosh. This is the worst part. Sucker! Sucker! I sound like wrestling. Good, whatever it is. Ain't hey, you know they pay this guy to do this. Is it worth it? Or not, be oh, okay. I don't think it is. I don't think it is. You know we got my man, Scott Max, gonna get Hal Rudnick tonight. It's going down tonight on this one. Now, you don't want to miss out. You don't want to get shot out on this deal because it's going down. Let me tell you something. Man, it's been working on this movie release dates very, very hard. But I'm going to tell you right he now. just spits out words. He ain't no slouch man. That's what we all do. He's been in uh, training. Engaged. He's working on all movies. He's working on all genre. I, did I hear that man was having a little beef? Have a beef with the rock. Well, let me tell you something. I got my money yeah, on you see those because he gonna lay the smacking down on your punk ass. <laughs> and it's going down right here on this phone. Now, guys, make sure you catch Reality of Wrestling every Sunday. <gasps> no. I'm good. Episodes. No, thanks. Can you dig it, sucker? Can you dig it? No. Okay. 
We are suckers. Uh, take on lose. Kyle Rudnick today. I think Kyle's going to turn it around and take out the man's man. Very interesting to see that Booker T is now choosing the outcome. Here we go. Like Let's get rid of the photo. Uh, no. Don't necessarily guarantee wins, Christian. Are you ready? We're going to need a bigger boat. I hope so. All right. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for, for the movie trivia slowdown. Three rounds in the singles division. Introducing first. Representing. Three jockeys with a record of zero wins, one defeat. He is the icon, Kyle Rosnick. Look at how Just a friendly guy. We're dead. <laughs> Vance is really locked in. I think he's, he's 
concentrated on performing. Yeah. yeah. Why? I have a good authority. In the 70s, Rimland was created after these two were born. Uh, <laughs> category of dramas in the imitation game, who plays Joan Clark, a Cambridge graduate that surpasses Turing's test, but her parents See, only want to work out. with oh, them. Oh, yeah, I got it. Please don't ask me to repeat. It's the main girl, isn't it? You would have won a speech tournament with that. That wasn't bad, right? No, I was going to do it. Mm -hmm. Five, four, Three, two, one. Pens down. Scott Mance. Oh, Jessica Chastain. Incorrect. How? Haley Atwell. Incorrect. <laughs> Peter Knightley. Peter Knightley. Oh. That's a great. That's a great movie. sign. Wait a minute, that's all ten. Category is four thriller. You apply nice. health inspector Matthew Bennell in this 1970s horror film. Repeat the question, please. No You'll find health inspector we'll Matthew in this 1970s horror film. 1974. 1970. 1970. 1970. 1970. 1970. I think he's. I think he's just. Are you just bragging? Did you know that you? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> All right. And five, four, three, two, one. How Rodney? Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Incorrect. Revenge of the Pink Panther. That's incorrect. Invasion of the Body Snatchers. I put Psycho. I put the Wolf Man. Spectre, you know? Okay. I don't know if Psycho um, came out. So. Don't either. The next category. It was a good guess, though. In Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol, who played the female operative on oh, yeah. the team? Never seen this one. Jane Carter. In Ghost Protocol, what was the actress's name? Who played the female operative on the team? Jane Carter. She wore a green dress. I'm not doing much worse than they are. <laughs> it's a hard question. Me too. I guess if we were broke it, though. Four, three, no idea. There do I. Two, one. Of course, you have to advantage. You own this movie. All right, here we go, Scott Manson. Sean Monaghan, I know that's one. Incorrect. Oh, that's his uh, wife. We all know it was Ms. Tia Carrere. <laughs> Ms. Tia. <laughs> that was iconic. Alright, category of family films. Oh, I didn't hear what it was. Who played the voice of Sheer Khan, oh. the villain tiger, in 2006? Very good, this one. Who played Sheer Who voices Sheer Khan? I <laughs> once got lost in the jungle. I'm not going to get it. Really? Five, <laughs> wow. Four, three, two, one. How about it? Liam Neeson. Correct. <laughs> He's got an arrow. He's got an arrow. What? It's looking for Idris Elba. Oh, sweet. Uh, I did uh, get it. I would like to remind uh, the competitors. I am outscoring the competitors. <laughs> ah! Guys, category fantasy sci-fi. Who played Deputy Jackson Lamb in Super 8? Uh, oh, uh, I've never seen this movie. Oh. Oh, yeah, I've seen this movie. God damn it. Uh, this is crap. Uh, Five. No. It's the guy who's going to be Cable. Three. He was in the talks to the cable. That's the whole oh, reason the director left. No. God, these guys suck. Uh, Michael Shannon? No. That's what I was thinking. This is, uh, this is like most of my dates. They start like a good idea, but end up with zeros. <laughs> Next category well, is that? new releases. Kira Sedgwick plays Haley Seinfeld's mother in what 2016 acclaimed drama? Love this movie. Me too. Very good movie. I like the Asian kid in it. Yeah, he's funny. Sport actor in our Easy Cage Awards show. Check it out on his channel right now. It's a 17. It's a 17. All right. All right. All you got to do is score one more point, Aaron, and you got it. Scores 3-2. Hey, I'm doing better. Scott Mance. If they don't like what they got in the first time, Unless it lands on opponent's choice, you can opt for multiple choice, and then it goes down to one point. Apiece. You can't steal from your opponent in this round. All right, how Rudnick? All right, Sam rolls the play. Uh, you really lead a bit here, two to one. Would you like to go uh, first or second? Um, I'll go second. All right, so you got a good spin. Pretty decent spin. Come on, come on, come on. Stop, stop, stop! Oh, Oscar movie. Oh, okay. 
Can I say it, Oscar movies? In. All right, so I got it. You got it? Yeah, I got it. So, Oscar movies. Oh, now, Scott Mance needs a big round here because of his one point. Sorry, Nick, you're dead. He scored in round one. <laughs> one uh, point. Uh, so, here we go. Wait, wait, it's the one point that I have. That's true. All right, here we go. <laughs> you're right. What was the first film to receive an Academy Award nomination in each of the four performance categories? I must say, don't win. Sure. Choice. Is it A, A Streetcar Named Desire, B, The Color Purple, C, My Man Godfrey, or D? I'm going to go with D, Color Purple. The turning point. Incorrect. Can you steal? Uh, may I uh, hear the choices again? The Streetcar Named Desire, The Color Purple, My Man Godfrey, or The Turning Point? Streetcar Named Desire. Looking for My Man Godfrey. God damn. Godfrey. All right, question two, Scott. Titanic and La La Land are tied with the other film for the Lord most of the Rings Oscar Return of the King ever at 14. What is that film? Titanic and La La, 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 La Land are tied with uh, Ben Hur. It's incorrect. Oh, and I can't get the multiple choice. No. See you go. Gone with the Wind. No. All about Eve. Oh. All about Eve. All right, here we go. Next question. Oh, nice. uh, so Michael said. Douglas won his first Oscar for producing which film? Oh, one floor of the cookies. Correct for two points. Okay. And three. You're right. All right. Thank God! Jesus Christ! Last question. What Oscar nominated actor played Richard Nixon in the 2008 film oh. Frost Nixon? Didn't uh, say that one. Frost Nixon. That was uh, Frank Lanchell. Two more points. Two more points. Sure. Right. Don't even know who that so, is. So, now we get to Hal Rudnick, who will spin the wheel, give it a good spin. There's the spin. Good spin. Spin is in, Christian. The spin is in. This is key. He is trailing. Five to two. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, 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 you're going to get four questions, Tyler. Well, he's inside, so he should be good. I mean, all logic, right? Conner and Batman and Robin were all released in what year? Oh, well, 1998. I'm going to go 1999. 1996. Mm -hmm. Incorrect. 97. Yeah. One year off. One year off. Question two, how the yeah. original Ghostbusters movie was released in June of what year? 1984. That is correct. Right. 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 Woo! What year saw the release of the instant classic 2010. Toy Story 3? 2011. You're right, though. I know. Let's get a multiple choice. All right. A, 2008. B, 2010. C, 2012. D, 2013. <laughs> Has it been that long? 2012. Yeah. Incorrect. 2010! One point for Scott Mance. One point for Mance. Gosh, it's been a long time since Toy Story 3 came out. Such a good movie. Mystic River was released in what year? 1995. It's the 2000s. I don't know. 2009. 2. 95. What? Incorrect. That's what I said, didn't it? Mystic River came out in uh, 2003. That's correrect. Two more points. Yeah, man, how did he know that? Round three. Well, he's got kind of this. I know. His face is on that date, man. We are going to have three numbers. Gosh. All right, 72. One and that did pretty good. That did really good. Thanks. And then three points, and then finally five points should we get there. All right, so... Uh, Mance, you're in the lead here. Still blown away. It's been seven the, years since. Three numbers. <laughs> Toy Story 3 came out. I love that movie. Seems like it's, it was just a couple years ago. Okay. Top five, right? Number five, five, because it's my favorite number. Okay. I'm going to go with uh, number uh, 17, because it's my age. And <laughs> yeah, I'd like it. I'm going to go with 25, because it's my favorite number. All right, how? Wait, what? Um, let's go with four. 14 and 24. And why? All right. Why so? I got a lot of fours in them. That just uh, became interesting. Okay. <laughs> Four, 14, and 24. All right. So All right. 10 and 4. He's got to make a comeback now. A lot of points oh, yeah. here. Otherwise, it's going to be a TKO. <laughs> get so two questions, start right? With uh, question, excuse me, category number four for Hal Rudnick. 
which is in the realm of classics once again. All right. Stop your day, Remy. What is the name of Kane's private estate? <laughs> I just seen this movie! Oh, oh crap! Uh, Oh, Xanadu. Yeah. Damn it. Two points for how long? I just <laughs> literally <laughs> just watched this movie. <laughs> <laughs> the one classic you would know. Three pointer here, 14. So, number 14 in the category of crime. Crime. God, classics are Although crime. they both appeared in The Godfather Part 2, Al Pacino and Robert De Niro had never Crap. appeared in a scene together until which movie? Heat. Correct. Three okay. points. All right. So now, how, in order to still stay in this game and take the lead down, category number twenty-four, your five corner. I'd like to make it a true deli double. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Your five point. Who directed School of Rock? Oh, wow. oh no idea. I don't know who's in it. Jack Black. School of Rock. Richard Linklater. Yeah. Points. There points. we go. How? So that sounds. It's a good movie. Yeah, it's a great movie. Yeah. Yeah. It's my favorite. It's my favorite uh, Jack Black movie. Chance to win the game, but he's got to get some points here. Absolutely. No fucking pressure, guys. Come on. No, there's pressure. Yes, there is pressure. <laughs> you chose five, seventeen, twenty-five, Scott. Your two-point question is in the category uh, that corresponds to number five. That is comic book movies. Woo -woo. Comic book movies. Question is: In X-Men First Class, what real event did Cuban the X-Men try to prevent from happening? In Too the damn fast. The Cuban Missile Crisis. Correct for two, two points. points. All right. So if Scott Mans hits this three-pointer, he will win the game. All right, you chose number 17. 17. And your category is Back to the Future. Ooh, oh, category? Or is oh, it the first one? What was the name of the man who took Marty in shortly after he arrived in the Old that's West? That's the one I haven't Back seen. Back to the Future yeah. 3. Doc Brown. That's incorrect. Seamus. Oh, Seamus. All right, so it comes down Shame on you. Uh, uh, and the last question. question. Number 25, or how Rudnick will win the game. As uh, Christian says, Scott, you picked, uh, you picked question uh, 20, number 25 category is Pixar. Pixar. Right. Five point question. For all of them, Kevin Spacey voices a villainous grasshopper uh, in which Pixar. Oh, God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> I was sitting there going trying to think of the character's name! I knew the movie! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Let's see, uh, what's my mouth? Bugs Life. The second Pixar movie. All my life, I have wanted to be a tornado chaser, but now I don't. Murmur as a crowd as... 14 points! <laughs> I did pretty good that time. Two points! I think that's how many I made the first time, too! <laughs> Do it. That's how many you made the first time, too, I think. Yep. What's up, Movie Trivia Showdown fans? I'm Emma Fife here with Scott Mance. I gotta ask you, because you literally are the face of movie release dates. Literally. How did it feel to finally... Not, not only, okay, never fight. Not only did it feel great to finally get my own category, but the fact that I got to pick my own category because it was a poet's choice movie release dates. <laughs> I mean, like, like, for years, for the last... 25 years of my life, I've been waiting to do the Schmodown and have a couple of movie release dates and kick ass and boom, I did. Sorry, Hal. I love you like a son because you are my son. But <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's got that. I don't think the Schmodowns are going on for quite 25 years, but I mean, that movie release dates category, that, I mean, that really turned the tide I crush it? on this game. You you know what's coming? It's you, you did. I crushed it. You did. I crushed it. Yeah, you, uh, you pulled out uh, one of the answers out of seemingly nowhere. Which one was it? The, was it Mr. Uh, Riverwise? 2003. 2003. <laughs> and, uh, you know, just to, to emphasize how many of you are on those movie release dates, we seem to still be getting Scott Mance, the musical. So, uh, release dates! Uh, besides 
this uh, you know career that obviously the two of us are going to have together with yes. Scott Mance, the musical being the precursor to Fight like for Life by One Woman Show. Bro. Well, the next <laughs> movie the movie's review is Schmodo. I was. And that should be one. I bet you actually. would. I needed this confidence booster. I needed this. I've been waiting a year to make my mark to come back in a big way. I feel like I just did. Although I gotta tell you, that first category, that first round was pretty pathetic. It was pretty pathetic! Definitely a word that yeah, I would use to now, describe that. No, no, in that first round, that's where I'm like, oh boy, I really need my I really need my first officer, I need Jason Inman, I need my team trek mm-hmm. co-pilot here. But you know, it was fine so this time and I went, okay, I get it, this is gonna be I'm gonna crash and burn. But then I got moving with really uh, Okay, well, thank goodness you did, because then somebody actually started Scoring some points in this match. Well, uh, oh, congratulations, Scott Mance. Uh, good, good win for you. You've had some rough times in the team lately, and it's uh, it's nice to see you win here in the singles. Even feels good to be. Feels good to be. Not quite sure how that happened. Uh, anyway, we'll be right back with Hal Rudnick. And we are back with Hal Rudnick. Hal, I think he should just uh, give up. It was a that was a match. Yeah. And then, uh, <laughs> it's not meant to be. It was a match, Emma. And. I would say that match was iconic. Was tantamount to child abuse. <laughs> well, I mean, you, you, you. it reminds me of the days that Dad would take me out behind the woodshed, put me over his knee, and tan my bottom with a switch. Okay, you do know that Scott Mance is not actually your father. I mean, he's not. Show me the DNA test. Okay, well, that's that's taking things to a little bit of an extreme. I. Uh, what happened out there, Hal? You know what? Um, all the credit in the world to Scott. I mean, um, it's it, it was a perfect storm. It was, and in my case, a perfect shit storm. Right. Um, he, I spun that wheel, landed on opponent's choice. He got to pick the category with his face on it. Yeah. And, what more uh, can you do? That's all she wrote from there. I'm I'm happy that I made a match of it in the uh, in the in the third round. I hit all those yeah. I hit all those balls from downtown. I actually wanted to ask you about the third round because you did so well in the third round that I I kind of were you like mentally present for any other point in this game because you came in swinging in round three. You know what? Um, that's a valid question. I may have been in a fugue state oh. uh, in the first two rounds. I-, I would like to check the video. My eyes might have been like just a little bit glazed over. Sure, <laughs> sure. But you know what? I woke Story up, the Star Trek alarm clock went off, and I woke up for that third round, proud of that effort, and... Damn it, I give Mance a lot of credit. He is a master of those release dates and of many other things and of being a perfect gentleman. But that was a winnable match. I'm mad at myself because I missed a couple of questions I that I had to answer and I went in the yeah, different direction. I did pretty good. But Still Star Wars trivia. That, that is absolutely true. But I think that in that third round you did prove that you really could continue to be a competitor here in the movie Trivia Schmodown. So what do you say, Hal? Are you gonna you gonna challenge somebody else? You gonna Continue to take on opponents. Retire. You know, uh, of course, I will take on all comers, and I'm gonna get back in the dojo, and I'm gonna do a little more IMDb. In in my spare time, I'm gonna pop on a Netflix movie or an HBO Now or something. I'm gonna get in the gym. I'm gonna come back rock hard and laser sharp. You can take that straight to the bank. And you know if you ever need any help learning your movie release dates that you can join Scott Mance for a session wherein he will probably serenade you with the movie release dates of all the major films from the last 70 odd years. Well, And his falsetto movie release dates. Yeah. Off my dreams. It's going to haunt <laughs> all of our probably. dreams forever. Well, uh, again, sorry for your loss, Hal, and uh, we hope to see you here in the Movie Trivia Schmodown once again someday soon. Thanks, Emma, and I love your gem and the holograms on Well, thank you. <laughs> uh, back to you, Ken and Christian. Oh, Emma Five tried to hold that in as much as she could. She knows that she doesn't know what she saw. We don't know what we saw, but it, it was still, they battled. It was uh, the second and third round turned it around because yeah. Hal Rundick got a hell of a performance in round three. He scored 10 points at all of them. Mance just happened to, uh, he just needed less points in that round. He missed his three, but he still hit the five, and that was the end. And that is how he did. He got a victory for Scott Mance on the road to redemption. Well, Scott Mance is now two and two. He's back on track here, and now the question is, 
who is next. You know, he said he wants to play whoever, and he was a ball of energy like he always is in the post interview, and he was talking about how he'll play. Maybe, you know, maybe he'll play someone like Andrejko. Maybe he'll play someone uh, like the Beast or Drew McWeeny. We don't know, but he's 2-2 two and two now, and we're going to see a lot more. Now, how about Nick? Started out in 02. I think I how run the Nick Scarpino match. I'm retired. Uh, ooh, that would be, I would like to see that. This was the <laughs> how run Nick Yeah, Scarpino, right. Uh, good match, yeah. So uh, there you go. That is the Movie Trivia Schmodown. Guys, make sure that you go ahead and comment and like and join the Movie Trivia Schmodown page. Join the Reddit page. Join it all and listen to the Schmodown Rundown every Saturday to recap the whole week that was. Oh, that much for that. Thank you to really John, Franco, Stacey Howard, and Hal Rudnick, and Scott Nance. It's the Movie Trivia Schmodown. That's Ken Knapsack. I'm Christian Harloff. We'll see you next time. Check out Josh Makuga. He's here, too. Oh, hi, Josh. Maybe. Do it in the dark. What's up, Jewish Mario fans? Coming hey, up on the Lug Sauce Doing something behind the match, you know. And, uh, well, we got a good amount here. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, kind, of, kind of crazy at first, you know. Not a lot of, not a lot of first round points, but they started to get it together, and the final score was okay. Uh, you got Manson in your team. I think he's worth worth keeping for another week or two. Uh, Rudnick, you know, you might want to drop. It's, it's, been, it's been a rough couple matches for him. It's, it's tough to see how he's going to go the next time out. Uh, stop crying. God damn it. Well, that's all for today, guys. Uh, keep checking those fans. Yeah, thanks. Who drew me Shmoe now? Cody, out. out. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> that's funny. Hey, guys, if you like this video, click the thumbs all right. up. Any last words? Also, uh, fun sure episode, one, two, oh. We'll and uh, suck it, Rainy. You got any words? Uh, yeah, those questions were hard. This game is rigged, and I'm still a Star Wars trivia champ. Peace out!